So here's another video on the topic of automatically generated elements from scan optimization in Adobe with regard to the Obama birth certificate discussion. Does the presence of certain features in a PDF prove that it was tampered with? In my first video I was talking about layers. This time I will be talking about clipping masks, linked files, and rotation and transform history. The claim is that when you open this Obama PDF you will find uh, linked elements like this. And when you investigate these elements, you can see that they have been scaled, enlarged by 24%, and sometimes rotated. You will see that most of these, wherever I click, it's always 24%. Remember that number, we'll see it later. Another claim is made that uh, layer groups are existing, which consists of a clipping path and an image element like this NON. And supposedly, all of these features could only be created by manipulating the document, creating it from different external files, and piecing it together, and they supposedly cannot be created by some automatic scanning process. Well, to find out if that's true, you have to try. And so what I did is I scanned a birth certificate. This is a TIFF file, which I'm going to open in Photoshop. And uh, just to demonstrate, it has only a background layer. There's nothing special in it, just plain file. I'm going to save this as a BMP additionally, because the BMP file format has really no support for layers, metadata, or anything. It's going to be an 8-bit BMP grayscale, because there's no color information in it. OK, here I have a BMP file. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in Adobe Acrobat. Here we go. And now I'm going to run a command called optimize scanned file. This is not OCR, it's just automatic optimization. A lot of people have been talking about OCR, which is optical character recognition. That's something completely different. This is just some magic that's done by Adobe to make the file smaller or whatever. I'm going to save this as a PDF. And now this is going to be compared to the Obama birth certificate. I'm going to open it in Illustrator as well. OK, here we go. We have lots of linked files. And in the layer palette, I'm going to enlarge the uh, preview a bit, make these 80 pixels large. So here we can see we have layer groups with all our elements in them. And we also have a clipping path and an image element. And if we click on these external files, like the date, we can see it was scaled by 24% and rotated a bit. All of these were scaled by 24%. This seems to be some kind of preferred scaling by Adobe. It's always 24%. Uh, so it really seems that this has just an automatic result of using exactly this optimized scan function. and has nothing to do, again, with tampering. Really, what I want to say is anyone who actually tries to understand what is going on by making an actual experiment instead of just claiming this or that, you will see it's a normal effect. If you have basically a mindset of scientific curiosity, you will try to do an experiment to find out what is going on. Instead of maybe with a different mindset, you think you already know what's going on and you only look at information that fits to that preconception. Why Adobe programmed their optimized scan function this way, I don't know, but what it does is it separates out all the elements that have sort of a different color it leaves behind a basic background, which is the pre-printed form, and successfully isolates things like the date. And here you can see the official seal and so forth. This looks like it almost tries to make the file editable again. Well, maybe this is useful in some cases. But it definitely has nothing to do with tampering. Anyway, the only thing relevant about the Obama certificate is really um, what we can see down here, I certify this is a true copy. Uh, this is done by a guy who's called uh, Alvin T. Oneka. So you have to contact this guy, or maybe maybe he's in a part of a conspiracy. I don't know. And uh, beyond that, uh, the National Review Online, they also agree that this is just something that happens. Uh, an optimized PDF shows up in Illustrator like that. I guess these guys realize that for Republicans, it's not a good idea to focus on these kinds of conspiracy theories.